what a letter Kana kakwa Aiba Uh, guys, karibuni tena to another session of Worship Wednesday. We are so 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 happy to be with you. It's wonderful. Um and uh, and today's today's theme is a, a little bit heavy. Uh but uh, but a necessary one. Uh, uh, like a nece- a necessary one. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, then stop. Necessary. Then necessary. Uh, exactly. Yeah, this is important. Yeah. To play with. Exactly. To market. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So so <laughs> Yeah and and we just ask that you that you indulge with us just join us karibuni sana we don't know if you're eating already uh ama ama munangoja tu news ama you know you're, you're watching a youtube video all right or you're doing something but um but for this time just for these few moments maybe we can worship together and sing together uh let's start with a word of prayer Thank you Father for this time that you've given us. Help us Lord to use it wisely. Help us to uh, to just feel your presence and to to um to lift our hearts and our hearts to you uh this day in Jesus name. Amen. 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 <clears throat> there's a um there's a theme that we've been wanting to do and finally we get to do it and it's on forgiveness. And uh, and um yani forgiveness kusamehewa unaona kusame hewa kusamehewa and i don't know i don't know if you found yourself at a place in life ever where you where you need forgiveness from someone or from god but in this case we are talking about forgiveness from god and and i don't know what place you've been in or what place that you are in now but this set is just to sort of help you or help us get to a place where we can be free to 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 approach the lord um with whatever it is there's a story mali kwenye biblia kitabu chema story come <laughs> that talks about a boy mm-hmm. who went away from home all right mm-hmm. a boy went away from home and he said dad i just i can't do it can't. i can't do it anymore mm-hmm. i'm like leaving and all and i just like want to go <laughs> away. Far away so give me like money my money my money and i'm going to spend it like on what i want to do i'll go on a car brad Yeah, that's, the that's boy had dreadlocks, yeah. you know. He um, was just like Brad and he was not He thought friend. he was brilliant. Right. He but he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is a this is a story. This is the the um, what are they called? Parable of the prodigal son in Luke 15. And I'll just start from 17 where which is our focus. I don't know if you guys know the story, but yes, this boy, you know, he just said dad just um All right, give me my inheritance. Me I want to go and he you know the dad did and he went and and he squandered it and then something happened in the land and then now um where that's happened happened you took a spoiler you may fika hapo. Um so I'll start from 17. When he came to his senses he said, "How many of my father's hired servants have food to spare? And here I am starving to death. I will set out and go back to my father and say to him, "Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son." make me like one of your hired servants so he got up and went to his father but while he was still a long way off his father saw him and was filled with compassion for him he ran to his son threw his arms around him and kissed him the son said to him i have sinned against heaven and against you i'm no longer worthy to be called your son but the father said to his servants quick bring the best robe and put it on him put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet bring the fattened calf and kill it Let's have a feast and celebrate for this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. So they began to celebrate. Yeah. And um I think uh, what, what Jesus was trying to trying to um, pass across when he was talking about this parable was the relationship that that God would have with us um in this state and i'm sure we found ourselves several in this state i'm not i don't know about you guys but me na joani mejikuta in this state where i'm just going back to god uh you have uh, you are just like guy what did i do and all these things and and where was i at and and i'm just like guy me me siji kama na za approach god when i'm like this or when i've done this like what what will he say can i even me but still i've gone and he has he has um he has embraced me and he's taken me back 
so during during this uh, this uh, what's it called this set this this um this this session, session um i just like to encourage you to start by encouraging you uh the first the first person that 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 i would encourage you to think of running to when you are at a place where you feel maze mimi sijafanya vizuri and i uh, i'm just a piece of trash <laughs> uh you know i feel like a piece of garbage i feel like like i've just mimini the first person um um i would like to suggest that you should run to is god because in god and and uh, and uh, with with a uh, with a humble heart in repentance um and confession you will find love and you will find acceptance but when you run elsewhere from experience me personally as a pa uh, zone, zone. uh uh from experience i feel like everywhere else you'll run to there is something else which is not good there is guilt and there is shame and there is just wasted time and and all these other things so why don't why don't we just if you are at this point uh reflect upon why you are at this point uh refer, uh, reflect upon uh, repenting and confessing and just running back to god with these simple songs that we we have put together and he will give you peace he'll give you uh, you find acceptance uh in him and whether whether it is things that have had consequences or repercussions i feel like the lord is able to restore not i feel i know that he is able to restore and is able to redeem so in whatever situation it is whatever situation it, it is, is uh just uh just just run to god all right are we together uh try and run to god um for he's your father and he accepts you So we we'll start with this this wonderful song to sort of get you in in into reflecting about these things um yeah 
Brother Ben, are you ready? Uh, ready for what? <laughs> for food is ready. For right? Food is ready. Food is, you know, for food you are ready. You know, the word of the God is also food. I'm telling you, spiritual food. All right? <laughs> spiritual what? Food. <laughs> yes. yes. Hallelujah.
forgive me And I have responded to them Instead of your love and your mercy But now, oh Lord, I see my wrong Heal my heart and show yourself strong And in my eyes and with my soul Oh Lord, be magnified Oh Lord, be magnified Sorry, Lord, for making you look very small in our lives. In the situations that we're going through, Father, forgive us. Forgive us, Father, for we are sinners, Lord Jesus. Forgive us for where we went wrong, Lord Jesus. This, the things we said wrong. Forgive us, Father. Be magnified in our lives, Lord Jesus. There are so many things we're passing through in our lives right now that are making us just enlarge the issues bigger than you, Lord Jesus. We are sorry for making those situations and, and issues become bigger than you, Father. We're here complaining about so many things instead of focusing on you, Lord Jesus. We've made those problems and issues bigger than you, Father. Forgive us, Lord Jesus. magnify you Lord Jesus in our lives we magnify you Lord Jesus in our finances we magnify you Lord Jesus in our relationships in our marriage Lord Jesus in the different situations we go through in life we magnify you Lord Jesus even as a country Lord Jesus we're here also to stand in the gap Lord Jesus and put this country before you Lord we magnify you Lord Jesus be magnified let you be the one the rest follow me, Jesus.
we fight Everywhere, Lord, be magnified Oh Just worship you, man Be magnified, Lord Jesus Forgive us, Father, for magnifying other things other than you, Lord Jesus how oh God we were made by you and for you Lord Jesus make us understand that so that this life can make sense Lord forgive us forgive us Lord bring us back Lord Jesus bring us back Father don't throw us away Lord Jesus just take over Lord take over take over come and take over in our lives in our situations Lord Jesus we are here to magnify you Lord Jesus even for the people who are viewing you from their screens of Father, be it their phones, their laptops, Lord Jesus. Bless them, Lord Jesus, as they strive to magnify you, Lord Jesus, in their life, Father. Yes, Lord, be magnified, be magnified, be magnified, be magnified, be magnified, be magnified. Be magnified. Be magnified. Yes, Lord, be magnified. Yes, Lord. Just give you all the praise and all the worship. I give myself away, Lord Jesus, so you can use me. Use me, Lord Jesus. You are the potter. We are the clay, Lord Jesus. Just mold us to what you want us to be, Father. Jesus, I've forgotten the words that you have spoken, promises that burned within my heart have now grown deep. With a doubting heart I follow the paths of earthly wisdom. Forgive me for my unbelief, renew my fire again.
I have longed to know you and your tender mercy like a river of forgiveness ever flowing without end I bow my heart before you in the goodness of your presence your grace forever shining like a beacon in the night Ooh, Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on me Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on me Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy As you continue to sing this song, if there's any sin or anything that you feel in your life that you're not okay, okay with God in, if there's anything that you've been doing or anything you have done that you haven't sought forgiveness for or repentance for, I ask that right now you just take a few minutes and, and bring this to God's attention. He loves you and He cares and He wants you to be well. He does want you to be right and to, to live right and to live well. So you may enjoy all the splendors, all the pleasures that He has provided for you. So that you may enjoy a fulfilling relationship with Him. One that is free and one that is, is unconditional. So if there's anything that, that has been a distraction, whether it's an act that you did or, or an act of addiction, that you feel cornered by or, or a sinful thought. The Bible says that, uh, it, you know, it is possible to take captive on the, of these thoughts and make them obedient um, to the will of God. You can, it is possible. And right now in this moment, just take a few minutes and, and raise up these burdens, these things to God as we cry out for His mercy, as we cry out for His grace that He can give freely. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord can hear you and he can see. And those of you who feel like whatever is overtaking you is too strong or too weighty for you to bear. If it's something that is hard for you to leave, there is strength in God and there is strength in his in his name, in the name of Jesus. A name that breaks every chain and every shackle. Just cry out for his mercy. Oh Christ have mercy. There's nothing that is too big for him to handle. Nothing that he can't do, nothing that he can't deliver you from. Christ have mercy.
Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. May I be like you. May I be like you.
transform me Take my will Conform me To yours To yours Oh Lord so Take my heart Take my heart And mold it Take my mind Transform it Lord for all of them to you as Lord Jesus as we strive to be perfect as you are Lord Jesus as you said in your word in Matthew 5:48 therefore be perfect as your father in heaven yes Lord Jesus help us Lord Jesus be what you want us to be father we seek that holiness we seek that righteousness father we seek that holiness and we seek that righteousness Lord Jesus who you have all fallen short of your glory as you said in your word in Romans 3:23 Lord Jesus Yes Father Renew us once more Father revive us again Lord Jesus just take hope just take hope Thank you, my soul. Holy 
message for them. Righteousness. So take my heart. Take my heart. And hold it. Take my mind. Transform me. Take my will. Conform me. To yours. To yours. just like to remind you that even as your mind and your heart may try to play tricks on you and and magnify this this scenes and this uh distractions and and sort of play tricks on you to show you that you're too dirty to come close to god you're too far off your you've lost too much you've done too much the reminder here from us is that god still loves you um He loved you way before you knew that you had sinned. He loved us the Bible says before um I mean he loved us when we while we were still sinners. And 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 even now in sin or or or, or even then in sin he still loved you and he was still waiting for you. And that's how much he loves us. That's how much he wants you to be reconciled to his family, reconciled into his presence. All you have to do is just take the step um trust in him trust in his love trust in his will and just come closer come closer to him uh don't run away it'll only get worse um and all these things that we desire uh righteousness and holiness and 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 all these things i feel like in his presence we will be able to um to find even that peace that we've been that 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 peace that we've been looking so hard such that we we you know we think we can find it elsewhere outside of his presence and in sin and and we we just can't so come back uh, uh my child he says and this next song is just to remind you of his love and how deep it is how wide it is how strong it is upon his shoulders 
Ashamed I hear my mocking voice Call out among the scoffers It was my sin that held him there Until it was accomplished his dying breath has brought me life I know that it is finished I will not boast in anything No gift, no power, no wisdom but I will boast in Jesus Christ His death and resurrection Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer But this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom And why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer But this I know with all my heart his wounds have paid my ransom His wounds have paid my ransom His wounds have paid my Lord, we just want to thank you for the work of the cross. Thank you that you went to the cross just for me. Thank you that you stayed there just for me. Thank you that your blood still has the same power that it had back then. Those stripes on your back that went there that many years ago, God, they still have the power to heal to release, to free. There is no reason why I should gain from your reward. But I know that because of those stripes that went on your back, I am free from anger, from bitterness, from depression, from pain, physical pain, emotional pain. God, there is nothing that you cannot do. And so we just want to thank you. Thank you because you have forgiven us. Thank you because sin has no hold over any one of us and anyone watching this. We declare and decree that we are free and free indeed. You who is our Father, who loves us so much, O oh God, we trust that you have set us free. There is nothing too dirty that you can't make worthy. We're never too far gone for you to save us. We can never walk too far in the wrong direction for us to repent and turn away and turn back to you. So we claim that forgiveness this evening. And we thank you because you've done it for us because of the work of the cross. We love you so much, God.
if this message if today's theme has um sort of really convicted you uh let me just ask before you eat before news just take a moment and and spend time with god just for a few minutes uh and at that we just want to say we love you guys and we'll see y'all next wednesday goodbye